What's going on guys? I'm at the boat ramp. It is, let's see, I think it's April 30th. It is April 30th. It's a good day to be out here for whatever reason. My grandpa's been on my mind the last couple days. And my grandma said something yesterday that really stuck out to me. We had, uh, sorry guys, these bugs are, the bugs are starting to get bad, but we had just got done planting the garden and this will be the first time, first year of doing a garden since my grandpa passed and, uh, my grandma was saying a prayer yesterday when we were getting ready to eat. And just the, I don't know, the thankfulness from my grandma, the way she said that prayer made me think about the way I say my prayers and stuff and the way that I think about God and Jesus and all that other stuff. And we planted that garden and when she was saying her prayer, she just like, you could tell that, uh, she was fully at peace that it was completely up to God whether or not that garden did any good or not. And uh, she just said, if it's your will, allow this garden to do great. And if not, then we're okay. And uh, I just thought a lot of that because I pray, I do a lot of my praying based off what I want and based off of almost like Jesus and God owe me for whatever. They don't owe me nothing. And uh, he don't owe me nothing. That's just, I don't know why that stuck out to me, but it kind of makes me refrain and makes me think about the way I pray and the fact that Jesus doesn't owe me nothing. He died for me. He came, he did everything for me. He created me. And, uh, I just want to be thankful for everything that he's done for me and not always come to him asking for something. So I'm going to say a prayer this morning and uh, get on the water and go kill a big turkey. Lord, please forgive me of my sins. Lord, as we come to the end of what my turkey season is going to be this year, I ask you that you keep everybody out there. Everybody out there safe as they hunt. Keep everybody healthy. Allow us all, including myself, to enjoy the time in the woods, enjoy the time in your creation, and not make it all about killing something. Lord, I'm so thankful for the life you've blessed me with, and the wife you've blessed me with, and the family, and just the health, and just everything you've done for me. I'm so thankful for that. I ask you this morning that if it be your will that I go out here and shoot a big old Tom, that I'd be able to achieve a goal that I've been shooting for for a long time of killing two turkeys in North Carolina, and that I'd be able to do it on public land. Thank you for everything you've done for me and allowing me to have the drive and the passion for what I do. Be with everybody in the rest of their season, and as other guys' seasons start Monday and start here coming up, and as other guys just have a lot of season left, keep them safe and allow them to be successful and just enjoy your creation. Amen. Let's go kill a turkey, guys.
levels yet. hardwoods and sections all around and then there's a couple fields here in front of me that's private. The trail camera pictures that my buddy got a couple days ago were in the in a field that's probably a couple hundred yards from here. I haven't heard any gobbles yet so I don't want to get too close to where he said he thinks they're roosting. So I'm just back. I'm set up. I got my Jake decoy out in front of me. If he comes down this road bit on this long side here to my right, he'll see it. And if he hears my calling and he's to my left and comes around that bend, he'll see it. By the time he sees it on my left, I'll already have a shot at him. So I'm kind of off the road, heading back in here pretty good, I think. If he sees me, I should have already been able to get a shot at him. So. We'll see what happens. sign I've seen this turkey sign versus pig sign. There's a lot of pigs up here and they tear a lot of stuff up but they also kind of push pine needles and leaves around just like turkeys do. So I haven't seen any poop yet but that doesn't mean they're not in here. something came through here and it looks like turkeys have came in and, and flipped the poop piles over. The cow pasture is to my left and kind of in front of me. I got the decoy out here in front of me where if anything comes in they should see that and not pay me any attention.
left is the road bed that I was on this morning, but I'm way down from where I was at. So. I wish I'd hear a gobble or two and figure out where these turkeys are. Right now, I'm just kind of shooting in the dark.
game, son. That's what I'm talking about. Public land. What in the world just happened? <laughs> Out of nowhere. Oh. Oh, nap time, turkey, son. Oh. 153 in the afternoon, nap time, turkey. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I was sitting here dead to the world. I missed him on the first shot. How'd I miss that turkey? Oh, nap time, turkey. Oh, oh my gosh. After all of this, I gotta go get him. He's flopping around. Oh. I'll be right back. All right, so let me show you this before we get up there and go look at this turkey. So I sat here for a couple hours and I had a guy walk in on me to, here to my left and he went back up there on that private. And uh, I sat here for a couple hours and that guy came through at like 1240, 11, 11.40 I believe. So it's been a little over two hours since he came through. And I haven't called since then. That was it. I have not called since then. And it's now it's 2, 220, but when I shot that turkey, it was uh, 140 something or 150 something. Anyway, look at this. This is my napping spot for old nap time turkey over there. I have my head on that seat cushion right there and I was laid out. That's crazy. It happens all the time, guys. You see it all the time. Instead of leaving the woods, if you feel like you're in a good spot, take your nap. And uh, you never know what you're gonna have happen when you're in the middle of a drain. That turkey scared the crap out of me, y'all. I'm sitting here sleeping, and that turkey scared the crap out of me. I heard <laughs> up on top of that hill. And, you know, at first, the other day when I was on another piece of game land, I thought I had the same thing happen. But after I woke up and called, it never never gobbled back. Well, I woke up and did a couple light yelps, and that sucker fired off, and I, I knew it was on then. So let me get my crap together, and uh, let's go show you this turkey. First public land turkey, guys. That's one special, y'all telling you special look at this it's got a big old beard 10 inch probably 10 inch 10 and a half inch beard something like that big old spurs nice and sharp but anyway yeah the second bird now this year that I've shot come in ready to fight the crap out of this decoy he came in to my right, which is now in front of me, but he came down off the top, worked his way down, and uh, I thought he was gonna try to circle me. Um, and I think he might have circled me until he saw this decoy. You could tell he was coming down, and he was coming down to where there's a low spot here, and I think he was gonna come right in behind me trying to get where that hen, where he heard the hen. But he came down, and as soon as he got directly beside of me, it was like he looked and saw this thing, and it was he made a beeline right for it. Didn't even slow up. Um, and it's twice now that I've used this half or quarter strut. I think it's a quarter strut. It's either quarter strut or half strut. I can't remember what they call it. But anyway, uh, it's the second time now I've used this and didn't have a hen decoy with it. And I think that is the ticket. At least for me, that has been the ticket using this thing without a uh, without a hen 
because that way he's still looking for the hen. But anyway, I'm fired up, guys. My allergies are jacked up. That's why I keep rubbing my nose. It's a beautiful bird. Uh, and I can't thank the good Lord enough. Thank you, Mike, for putting me on this spot and uh, even giving me the idea to come out here and try to kill a turkey on this place. I would have never even looked at it. I've got it marked on the map, but I never had really wanted to pay much attention to it. Just didn't look that great. Um, but that's part of learning, guys. This place evidently is pretty good for turkeys. So, time to get him to the boat. Hopefully, uh, the walk's not too bad. Temperature's perfect right now. The cloud cover's kind of keeping it cool, so. Old 20, day, 20 gauge does it again, old Mossberg Maverick 20 gauge. Uh, I am shooting those, and they do make a big difference. Those, that Apex ammunition, I'm shooting the small town blend. Uh, and this Burris Fast Fire, guys, I'm telling you, if you drop your shotgun, it makes a huge difference. It has for me, at least. And I, I still miss this turkey at 17 yards, but... I think my pattern was just too tight, and I don't think I was right on his head when I squeezed off. Um, but yeah, old Ma Mossberg Maverick does it again, old 20 gauge. guys well hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully you learned something I know I learned a lot making this video and just having all the time in the woods this season uh, the way this bird came in today was just crazy I mean to be sitting there napping and then five minutes later I got a bird on the ground it's just it's pretty unreal like I said first public land turkey so I'm stoked not sure yet what I'm going to do with him, how I'm going to mount him, but uh, since it's my first one on public land and it's such a nice one, I might do something special with this one. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching all my videos. Thanks for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, looking forward to getting a lot more videos out there to you guys. So thanks for watching. Remember to live your life to the fullest and use your passions to bless others. We'll catch you on the next video.